by accelerating the shift from petroleum-based plastic to corn and other bio-based plastics, we will create jobs and strengthen the market for Ohio's agricultural products. You know, I think Ohio is the state of perfect balance. And I see that every day as I travel across this great state. There is a quality of life here that cannot be matched. There is opportunity here to pursue your dreams. Let's not shy away from making that known. In fact, today, my friends, I'm calling upon you to lift us up, to tell the world what Cleveland has to offer, to tell the world what Ohio has to offer. It's time that we celebrate our strengths and that we tell our story. There's an old movie some of you may remember. It's called The Misfits, starring Clark Gable, who, by the way, is a native of Harrison County. In the final scene of that movie, the characters played by Marilyn Monroe and Gable are in despair. They're not sure what will come next to them. And Monroe turns to Gable and asks, how do you find your way back home? And he responds, just head for that big star, straight on. It'll take us home. These four industries, biomedicine, advanced energy, logistics, bio-based products, are stars in our sky. And they will take us to a more prosperous home. In fact, Ohio's constellation is far, far larger than that. But we have to look up to see it. We have an economy the size of a major country's, and an, an economy that has always provided for its people. But we can give our economy a boost by recognizing more than only our difficulties. We can give our economy a boost by seeing what it is that we have and remembering what we are capable of. Because, my friends, it's time that we look up again. Thank you. Thank you. Today at the City Club of Cleveland, we are listening to the Honorable Ted Strickland, Governor of Ohio. We will return to our speaker in a minute for our traditional City Club questions. We encourage you now to formulate questions for our speaker and to remind you, to remind you that your questions should be brief and to the point. We welcome all of you here and those listening to WCPN 90.3 FM, WCLV, WTAM, or one of the many radio stations across the country. Radio broadcasts of the City Club are made possible through the generous support of Case Western Reserve University. Our television broadcast partners are WVIZ PBS Idea Stream and the Time Warner Cable. Now we'd like to return to our speaker for our traditional City Club question and answer period. We welcome questions from everyone, including guests. Holding the microphones today are City Club Assistant Director of Development, Marcella Brown, and Director of Community Relations, Missy Toms. Now, first question, please. Good afternoon, Your Honor, and welcome. I'm over here to your left, about shortstop. Oh. Good afternoon, Your Honor, and welcome again to Cleveland, Ohio. And thank you for your very uplifting comments about our area, the North Coast. But there's an area that was missing in your discussion today, and that deals with our political leadership, leadership which has of late included a county recorder who can't use his computer right, uniquely chauffeured county commissioners, and indeed an attorney general who has made the attorney general office something that would make John Belushi blush. 
how do you address those issues when our voting public has a rising belief that our political leadership, of which you are not part of it in that you've risen above it so gracefully, but how do you address the rising belief that our leadership is perceived as having been fiddling while our reputation is burning? Thank you. Well, thank you for that uh, easy <laughs> question. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I have no complete um, uh, answer to your question other than to say that, um, that um, uh, our, our political leadership, I think, um, oftentimes is a reflection of society at large. I used to sit in the House of Representatives and look around at all my congressional colleagues from all across the country and I would uh, say to myself, this is truly representative of America. Some of the best and brightest, some of the most uh, perhaps incompetent. Uh, <clears throat> some of the most uh, noble and ethical and high-minded and uh, perhaps some of those who were not so motivated. Um, and uh, ultimately, in a democracy, the people make the choice. And uh, I, what I would say uh, is that it's, it's important, uh, I think, for <clears throat> candidates who seek public office to be uh, well vetted by the voting public. And uh, uh, perhaps that doesn't happen as, uh, as thoroughly and completely as it should. Uh, and um, when that happens, and uh, you, know, you, you mentioned a, a, an episode that I'm very familiar with, and that's the recent uh, att Attorney General's set of circumstances. Um, what we tried to do was to, was to take appropriate action as quickly as as we could and as appropriately as, as we could, uh, and, um, and we did. And um, I can say to you I am incredibly proud of our Attorney General today, uh, Nancy Rogers, uh, former Dean of the Ohio State School of Law, and uh, I am um, absolutely confident that, uh, that she's carrying out the responsibilities of that office in a, in a hugely honest and ethical manner. Um, what happened was unfortunate, unfortunate, but we are human beings and we are subject to the frailties. Uh, some would call it uh, sisters, uh, original sin. <laughs> <coughs> uh, uh, but it's something that uh, all of us cope with and some of us do a better job of coping than others. You mentioned in your talk today uh, public education in Ohio from K to 12. Uh, the Supreme Court of Ohio on at least two occasions has ruled that the method of funding uh, public education from K to 12 in Ohio does not meet Ohio constitutional requirements. Uh, are you personally now satisfied with the education formulas that have worked out or do you have some specific ideas as to how that might be changed uh, in 2008? or possibly in 2009, and then as a non sequitur, is your decision not to run for vice president carved in stone? <laughs> <laughs> and if so, is it marble or sandstone? <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, let me answer the second question first. It's the easiest. It's the easiest to answer. Um, uh, I think it would be presumptuous to assume that I would be chosen or asked to seek the vice presidency, but uh, in the event that that were to occur, it is, it is carved in steel. <laughs> um, now secondly, um, re re regarding education, uh, and it is true that Ohio has labored uh, for many years under a Supreme Court decision saying that our current system of school funding is uh, unconstitutional. 